Assalamu alaikum. Today I'm going to make fresh delicious cake which is also called milk cake and this is recipe is mostly requested by you guys to make my own version without oil or butter. So for the sponge I'm taking three large eggs. If you don't have large eggs you can take four medium eggs but these are large eggs so I'm taking three large eggs. To that I'm going to add caster sugar 200 grams. And then I'm going to beat them until they are double in size and pale in color. First you start with the very low like from setting 1 and then you, then you go higher with higher settings until it is pale and fluffy like this. Now I'm going to add flour 200 grams and baking powder 1 teaspoon. We have to sieve it. Now gently mix it with your spatula. This is folding motion. You don't have to break the egg texture. When it is fully incorporated, then we will add vanilla essence in it and milk 100 ml. When it is fully mixed, then we will transfer it into our baking dish. This is a round cake pan, 6 inch, and I have like covered the edges with my baking paper. And I'm going to bake it on 180 degrees for 40 to 45 minutes in middle of your oven. After baking, we have to cool down the cake. When it is completely cooled down, then we have to take out this baking paper. Now the next step is we have to prepare our milk mixture. Here I have taken evaporated milk and condensed milk. The recipe of my condensed milk is top up here. You can check the recipe from here if you want to make the condensed milk at home or you can buy it from the store as well. Mix both these things. I do, I'm not going to add any cream in it or any other milk in it. This is just two milks. Now we have to poke our sponge cake. Take any skewer or any stick you have in hand and then you have to poke your cake. Now pour your mixture over the sponge. You just pour two thirds of the mixture and put it in the fridge for two hours. So our sponge is really moist. Now we have to prepare our cream mixture. This is a whipped cream. To that I'm going to add my leftover condensed milk, two tablespoons and vanilla essence one teaspoon now i'm gonna whip this cream whip this cream until soft peaks we don't have the like stiff peaks we just want the soft peaks now i'm taking my star nozzle and a piping bag just gonna fill this cream in a piping bag The next step is we have to decorate our cake. If you think you need more like moisture then you can add more milk on it. The decoration is totally up to you. You can decorate the cake with any pattern, anything that you like. But this is the most simple and most easy decoration and very quickly I can do it in minutes. So now I'm going to make a floret with the same star nozzle. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell icon so that you can get the notification whenever I upload the new video and like my video please and share this with your friends. And in the comment section please let me know if you have tried this cake and how this turned out at your home. Now I'm going to add the stars 
wherever it is a space. I'm going to add a few blueberries. I have taken a uh, frozen fruit bag. This bag contains blueberries, raspberries and blackberries, cherries, all the berry things in this fruit bag. You can add the fresh fruits as well. Now my cake is ready to serve. You can say this looks very beautiful, isn't it? This is a summer dessert and it is very similar to Ras Malai, which is our traditional Pakistani Indian dessert. While you serve, make sure the cake is very chilled. And when you cut the slices and put it into plate, then pour some milk mixture on top of it, which we have saved in the beginning. Uh, the written recipe of this cake is in the description box. You can check it from there. And there is a link of my social handles as well, which you can open and follow me on Insta or join my Facebook group if you want. And now check. This cake is really, really soft, fluffy and moist and this melts in mouth.